Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome to Tech House. Today we're going to be talking about if you can get in trouble for using Pirate Bay or any other torrenting website for that matter and how you can use it safely. To get to the bottom of this, we must first ask ourselves the question, is torrenting fundamentally illegal? And the answer is no. No, it's not illegal. It's absolutely fine. If it wasn't legal, it wouldn't exist because torrents is just a technology like the blockchain is also just a technology. And what it does is allow you instead of uploading a file to some server to keep the file on your computer and then have a small little tracker file which allows anybody else to download that file directly from your computer. It's a peer-to-peer, -peer, a person-to-person -person file sharing system. That's all it is. Now the question comes into, are the files that you are sharing illegal or not? If you, for example, want to download the government's most secret files, then yes, most likely that's very much illegal. If, on the other hand, you just want to download the latest copy of Linux, then that's pretty much a perfect example of how torrenting is done legally and is a perfect use case for it. But let's use a more common example and say somebody would want to download a movie, one of those box office hits for example. So then go to Pirate Bay and download that small little tracker file. Now Pirate Bay would be hosting that file, but not the actual film, therefore putting them in a gray area as if they were actually hosting this video, this blockbuster film, then that would be copyright infringement. But since they're not actually hosting it, the Pirate Bay website is not actually taking responsibility for it. You're the one that must take responsibility for downloading this file. Now we get into this gray area. You can argue that you already own this file. You already bought the DVD, and now you're just downloading a digital file to put on your computer. And that's the reason why these torrenting websites actually get away with a lot. It's because they actually argued this in court. And at one point they approved it. At the other point, they actually revoked this decision. At this point, it is currently illegal to download movies if you do not have the original content already available to you. Which leads us to the next point. How would the mafia know that you downloaded a film illegally? And I don't mean those Italian gangsters which are like, Hey Luigi, how did you download this film illegally? You disrespect me, you disrespect the whole family. Now the mafia is the Music and Film Industry Association of America. And the short answer is they make a deal with your internet service provider to give them that kind of information, as your ISP actually tracks your internet traffic. And that is why using a VPN is very, very highly recommended when downloading any kind of torrent file as it actually encrypts and masks your data so that your ISP has no clue what you're doing. And since on this channel I review VPNs, you can check out in the description where I'm going to link a few of my personal favorites that I use and that are going to work absolutely wonders for torrent downloading. And my recommendations are as follows. If you're absolutely dead serious about security and want the most ultimate security ever possible out there, then ExpressVPN is going to be the best answer for you as they have the best security that I'm currently aware of. If you want the fastest speeds as well as having good security, then NordVPN is the fastest VPN that I've tested out. And if you want security, speed, but you don't want to pay a lot of money for it, then Surfshark is going to be an alternative. It's not as fast, but it will get the job done. But how serious is it if you do get caught downloading something illegal? Well, I have good news for you. It's not as serious as it used to be back in the day when Napster or Kazaa was the in thing and torrenting illegal software and movies, music, whatever it was the in thing to do. It's not so serious anymore. The companies that used to sue people like yourself or anybody else for just downloading things for thousands, in some case millions of dollars, reverse their policy and no longer take such aggressive actions. Instead, what they do is they, as I said before, contact the ISP or internet service provider and send out warnings. These warnings are not court action cases. They are sent warnings that you either need to stop doing this or they might throttle your internet connection or disconnect your internet service provider altogether. Still very uncomfortable things to go through and having a VPN is very very much recommended. And it goes without saying that it is always much more preferable to support your audio and film industry to buy the CD of your most favorite artist so he can get that extra bling bling. And anyways, nowadays CDs and DVDs are a thing of the past. You can get a streaming subscription to Spotify, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, HBO, the list is endless and they're not really expensive subscriptions. And also speaking of VPNs, you can use those VPNs to increase your library. So if you're getting a VPN for security at the same time, you can use it to access geo-restricted content. For example, some shows are only available in the United States. Other shows are only available in the United Kingdom, Italy, France, Germany, whatever. All different countries have different shows. If you're curious on what shows are playing where, there's a great website called Flixwatch, which I'm going to link in the description below, which shows you which shows play in which country. And having a VPN allows you to switch between 
between countries and open up a library much bigger than you would normally have. Anyway, we're getting off subject here. I just want to say that there's nothing illegal about using a VPN, just like there's nothing illegal about torrenting as long as you use it responsibly. Because remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So use it wisely. Support your artists. Links are in the description below. This has been Nick from Tech House, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!